Hi everyone, I've done this uh, notebook cover uh, some time ago. I posted it on Facebook and you asked how I've done it. So I'm going to do something similar today. Basically, I took three very <laughs> plain notebooks attached uh, to each other. Here are the uh, cover. I just uh, glued them together and then I've done the cover. Now, I don't have right now a uh, notebooks that need a cover. So we are going to do this in my art journal. And basically you can do this stuff on any surface that you want. You have a, bo a plain box that needs some decorating. You can do it on that. So moving this aside for now, what we need to start with is the white backing of a paper napkin. I have two layers here. I'm always doing two plies uh, together and put it on top of some plastic bag, plastic sheet, whatever you've got. And there is a reason why I'm doing it on plastic or not, and not a towel. If I will uh, spray this, and I'm, I'm going to use my sprays that are made from gel food coloring with water. And if I use sprays on this and there is a towel underneath, it will mostly soak all the spray. And when I'm doing it on some non-porous uh, surface, then I get more interesting effect and more puddles of the spray. So here I've used a red, orange, and yellow. You can use whatever a color you want. I think this was the the underneath ply. Uh, there is that's why I'm using two because the second one underneath will get a more interesting uh, effect. So you have two things to work with. So I've picked today some uh, green, dark green, some blue and some dark uh, red. And you can do it however you want. I'll just show you some examples of uh, some backings that I've dyed. You can decide to go like this you can go with lots and lots of color like this and basically these are the three uh, colors that i've picked now my uh, my sprays are from i'm <laughs> gel food coloring the liquid ones don't have enough pigment to use that's why i'm using gel food coloring uh, so I will have something like this. This is what I'm going to use because it's all already dry. And But I want to show you how I'm doing it. So just decide where you want to spray each color. If it's random, if you want it a horizontal or whatever. Just play with it and have fun. Now if you want your colors to blend more then I suggest that you spray your two uh, layers of uh, backing from a paper napkin with water. It will help it spread. So as you can see, I'm just spraying. This looks almost purple, but it's more like a Bordeaux color. And I'm letting them also overlap. I think it creates a and interesting colors in between but again this is up to you to do whatever you want and let's just put a little bit more of the green here and if you feel it's not enough you can always come back and spray more Here we go. So that's how I uh, do my uh, paper napkins, the backing of them. And now you just remove it and let it dry on its own. You can probably uh, make it dry uh, faster with some heat tool, but you need to be careful with it. So 
I've got this. I've got my uh, paper napkin that I'm going to use. And I'm going to take the two flies apart. So I've got two of them and I can decide which one I want to use. This I'm going to use today. Now, let's take the Arjomo because as I said, I'm going to do it in my Arjomo. I'm going to use this page and I'm masking this one so it won't distract us from what we are doing. On the notebook, I've used this stencil to create texture and added more uh, circles. Today I'm going to use another stencil for this pro I'm going to use this one. I've bought it, haven't used it. I thought it would be interesting to see uh, how it will take. Now uh, for the texture, I'm using joint compound. It's cheaper. I buy a big bucket from the hardware store. And sometimes when I want the joint compound to be smoother, I just add a little gesso to the mix. But most of the time, I'm just using it as is. So, I've got here the joint compound, and I've got a pellet knife. You can use anything like a plastic a card to do the same thing. Whatever uh, is more, is easier for you to use. And I'm just putting it, the paste Like so, I'm very generous with the paste because I want texture. As you can see, I'm doing it quite quickly not trying to smooth anything just to make sure that I will have lots of texture on my page almost done Okay, just going over. I think it's good enough. And here it is, here is the texture. And even if I have in some places more raised texture, I don't care. When it's semi dry, I can it, just with my finger smooth it uh, out and I can also wait for it to dry completely and I can use some sanding paper if I want to remove something right now I'm just going to let this be it needs to dry completely before we are doing anything to it so I'll be back I'm back so this is dry and now I want to apply the dyed uh, paper napkin. Decide which part you want. You can also tear it up and just uh, each time uh, glue another piece. I'm just going to put it here like so. I'm only going to trim here because it tore a little bit. So I want a straight line for my page here so I'm just going to trim it now to apply the paper napkin you need white glue and when uh, working with paper napkins it's better to add a little bit of water to the glue so it won't drag and tear the paper napkin and also you need a flat and soft brush it doesn't have to be something like that it can be any kind of a pen brush that is soft and flat so I'm thinking of putting it like so and I will start at the top putting generous amount 
of glue so it will go into all the details of my texture so I'm starting and putting it down and now I'm going to go over and with the flat of the brush push the paper napkin into all the texture I've got underneath and just use the flat of the brush with lots of glue so it will slide and not drag the paper napkin especially now that you have texture underneath So now I'm just going to move again, put more glue and I'm doing it a uh, section by section because I don't want to stretch my paper napkin and then it, there won't be enough to go into all this, inside all this texture. But you you can do it however is easier for you and as I said you can tear it into smaller pieces of paper napkin and each time apply a small a small one so it would be more manageable so I'm putting a lot of uh, glue here underneath and I hope I haven't missed anything and now I'm just going to work again my paper napkin into all this texture and you will also have additional texture from some uh, wrinkling of the paper napkin which is great at least I like it <laughs> So right now you can you can't probably see all the details because everything is wet and there is the white glue but when it's uh, all done we are going to pick up all the texture with highlights which can be achieved either with acrylic paint, dry brushing acrylic paint on all the texture or any kind of gilding wax, rub and buff or whatever you want to to do. Okay, my phone quit on me suddenly but I let all this dry and I've trimmed the edges, the what was uh, outside the page and basically now we are going to pick up all this texture. All kinds of ways to go about it. You can use acrylic paint, you can use, as I said, gilding wax or rub and buff, anything, almost anything goes. I'm going to use a acrylic paint and I'm going to use black here. When I've done this cover, I've used a gilding wax, gold gilding wax. And it can be very, very easy and it doesn't have to be a, a gilding wax, it can be an acrylic paint, a gold acrylic acrylic paint if that's what you are going for. Now either use a flat brush or any kind of flat um, sponge, it doesn't have to be like this, just uh, easier for me and basically I'm going to show you both ways. You are taking some acrylic paint and rubbing it until it's inside and you don't have too much on top and it's even better if you have a surface like paper and just rub a little bit off and then you decide where you want to get the highlights or not the highlights now it doesn't have to be one a uh, color you can also decide that you are going from a uh, with black and white for a more dramatic look it's really up to you it doesn't have to be uh, just black, just white or just uh, gold. I am going with the black and I'm going all over in on all sides so it will pick the, the old texture not just from 
one direction to the other. Now I can also uh, go with the sponge and go like this and it would be faster and a little bit more dramatic which is what I'm going for today and if I don't like it I can also cover it I will let this if I didn't like it I can wait for it to dry and go over with whatever I want So you see how it picks up all the texture I've got in the back. And it looks kind of grungy and distressed and I really like it and I'm probably thinking I want some contrast when I'm going for a focal image because I'm doing a page in my art journal and not just a cover for my uh, for any kind of notebook I'm also going a little bit here I've got wrinkles on the paper napkin and I don't mind that it will pick the it also also going over the edges because I'm already with the grungy look and I think it will just frame the page but I'm, I am uh, trying not to have too much paint on the sponge and it's better to use a thick acrylic paint than the runny ones but you can also use the runny ones but just be a little bit more careful using it just darkening the edges I really like this distressed grungy look very dramatic I'm just adding a little bit more where I think it didn't pick enough of the texture yeah okay so now I want to do some something for my uh, focal image and I thought of doing some for contrast some dainty flower so I'm just moving this aside and I've picked this is one of the stencil I made and I've got here some uh, watercolor paper it's 300 grams per sheet and I'm just taking some uh, not this one where is my permanent uh, marker this is the cheapest but greatest I think <laughs> it's for CD and DVD and they still make them and for me these are the best and you can buy them in office supplies so it makes it just uh, cheaper and they have two sides I'm using the thinner side I'm going to just trace the petals I think I will do several all the, the flowers I've got here on my stencil I will color them and then I will just play and see what goes on my page and if I don't use it it will just go in one of my stashes of course so I'm not really <laughs> careful of being precise just making the petals very loosely tracing the shape and I'm using permanent uh, marker because I'm going to use something with water and no I'm not using watercolors but I'm going to use regular felt pencil felt pens that everyone has or felt markers or whatever you call them whatever you buy for your kids and it will still look like watercolors I've done many videos showing how it works but I'm going to repeat it because not everyone saw 
how to do it. So, okay, one last flower. Now I'm thinking that I also want a butterfly, but we'll see. I'll start with the flowers and we'll see. So I've got this and I've got some felt pens. And what I'm doing is I'm just coloring like this. I'm not even trying to stay in the lines don't care and these are for kids and they are water based so you can activate them that's what's great about it they are cheap you can buy whatever felt pens you've got with for kids and back to school and everything and you can make a watercolor effect so you see, I'm not even trying to be precise or anything. I'm just laying down some color in the petals. And what I'm doing now is taking a watercolor paintbrush. Now, this I do recommend to buy because uh, you can load water into them. They take water better than any kind of other paintbrush. I'm just putting some water here, loading the brush and now I'm going from the darker color towards the lighter one and into the white and sometimes you need to wait like I don't know 10 seconds before it completely going water effect before all the marks of the felt pen just dissolve and sometimes I will go from the, <laughs> the lighter color towards the darker one very very easy especially for people who don't like watercolors because they can't be uh, controlled as they say but this is very controlled because you can go inside with the felt pens wherever you want I'm just doing another one so you can see how this changes I can also uh, add more water if I want and it will still be able to spread it doesn't uh, dry fast so it's good you can still move the paint and once again going into the water that I just sprayed here and letting everything mix not trying to be Accurate, just smearing, spreading the water. And as you can see, by using the permanent marker, it doesn't spread with the water. So I don't have black uh, smudges here. So I'm going to color all of them and then fussy cut them and I'll be back. Okay, finished uh, the flowers, uh, fussy cut them, made a butterfly just using the same uh, thing just took this uh, stencil and made the butterfly the same way I've done the uh, flowers I just want to make a stem and I have some gold acrylic paint in this bottle and I hope it will work for me and that there is still <laughs> enough paint I just want a little bit of a stem here doesn't have to be very thick just 
so they won't this flower won't be a <laughs> floating in space it seems like it's almost a uh, done and I need to refill it with some gold paint no I have st still so it probably is clogged let's see what I can do always at the end okay I've got a lot of texture here, so it's a little bit tricky. And once again, it's clogged. Oopsie, never mind. Okay, so now I'm just going to do something like that. Don't know why, I just want something to continue, although I did the black in the edges, but I don't know. Just thought about it and I'm going with it probably will take a lot of time to dry but never mind okay so I've got this I just want to add something in the middle and I took I've got this a uh, gold glittery a uh, nail polish that I thought I can make some dots with in the middle here okay some big dots some small dots really don't care just adding something to the middle and basically this is it that's the whole thing making the texture with the modeling paste or joint compound and putting on top of it the dyed a uh, paper napkin that's it very easy here it is that's it i'm finished with my page maybe later i will put some saying in here i'm not sure right now i'm just leaving it be and thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now